stock bike. Well, it's not stock anymore. It's got an exhaust and jet kit. From no lights and needing decals, geez. And no headlight to the next picture. Let's put on the headlight tail. So first thing we did was create a 3D model based off some measurements and looking at the headlight we purchased and our fork tubes and the offsets. We just kind of measured everything by hand. And I'll show, this is probably the third revision of this fork mount, headlight mount, or fork mounted headlight bracket. And uh, the first one you can, you'll see from the pictures that we somehow way missed the first measurement on this tab that sticks out for the headlight to mount to. But that's why 3D printing is, is super handy because you can make mistakes like that and just reprint. So I'll start this from the beginning. This is kind of the workflow. You can see we created sketches, extruded off of those sketches, did some counter bores, then we split everything so we could 3D print it. So, that's kind of what we ended up with. Let me get the other half brought up here where you can see it. So if you're looking at the screen here, you can see that that's how it mounts. We just mirror image this to print the other side. And now let's take a look at those pictures. So we had one print that quit right the power went out. And so we, what we did is when we printed these, these are the outers. And you can see we use tree supports in Kira. And that helps keep these inner surfaces from sagging while it's, while it's bridging across printing that. And so basically, this stuff, let me see if I can get this off here. It's pretty easy. It pretty much comes right off. That's the cross hatch inside the part, the infill. And in a minute, we'll take this apart and finish putting all the inserts in, and we'll uh, go start putting our headlight on. Okay, going. Okay, guys. So we're putting the brass inserts in the fork clamps. We're heating it up on our soldering iron. You see that good? Okay. And so what we're doing is. This in just a little bit of pressure until it goes flush. And try not to breathe the fumes coming off of it there. That's it. So we put these in, and now we've got threaded inserts in our plastic. Now, on the other side, we, we modeled in for socket head cap screws and countersunk them or did a counter bore, and so they'll be flush. Alright guys, so here's where we're at. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the install, which was very simple. And listen, if I get enough comments, we will go ahead and take this thing apart, which we may do anyway. But as for right now, so I'm going to show you here are the 3D printed items that we use to mount this headlight. Okay. And I'm going to put a link in the description to this headlight. It was like super cheap. Um, now, we also, there'll be a link in the description to this switch, and you can see we got headlights. Now, 
I did fuse this. Um, I basically ran the wire, which this is still getting ready to get zip tied. And I ran wires from behind here. I took the tank cover off and ran wires behind along the stock wiring harness all the way up through here. And this wire on the starter relay basically goes straight from the battery. There wasn't a lot of room here to add a connector. Um, and I basically took a spade connector. And as you can see, I added it right here. That's got some heat shrink on it for strength. I did bend it. It goes back through here, but it looks like it's gonna work out okay. There's no stress on this, so um, that connection should be fine. It is crimp connected, and then it runs through this wire to a fuse here. Um, and then goes that this hot wire goes all the way back up behind the headlight which it connects through the switch. So the power comes in through the switch and goes back to the headlight. And there's a splitter there that runs it to the back, which is where we're mounting the tail light underneath. This LED running light takes no current hardly. So it's right here. I have went ahead and these connectors, of course this, I've got a description, um, a link in the description, sorry, it's, it's early. And um, so, this is the tail light we're gonna use. There'll be a link in the description for this. Uh, this is an Amazon item. It, it's great, it's perfect for this. This is the yellow is the running light. The red was the brake light. We don't have a brake light. We just needed a, a rear running light. Uh, the black was the ground, of course. So running light here, I've, I've added a bullet connector um, on the splitter that comes back from the front. And that is right here, which I gotta put the end on it, but I'm going to mount the tail light up underneath here, and then I'm gonna cut the wire to fit, put the connector on, et cetera. And I've got a grommet, a rubber grommet. I'm gonna drill a hole. The wire, the, the tail light mounts these three holes. There's two holes here and one right here. And the wire will come in somewhere, hopefully right in here. And uh, I'm gonna put a grommet to run the wires through. So um, I'll, I'll put a finished video and pictures up these 3D printed mounts, I'm gonna put a free file on Thingiverse, and I am happy to give those to you guys. Now, there are some things I might change in the future. These barely touch the tank. Like, just barely, I think it's on the left side. Just, you can, you can see it just barely touches. So we weren't terribly worried about it. In the future, what I may do is, um, redraw these mounts where these are on the sides so that there'll be nothing here to hit. But for the time being, it's fine. It's not a deal breaker. Um, and if you want to see how to take this plastic off, if you go back and look at my other video where we did the jet kit on the bike, it shows us taking all this off so we could get down to the carburetor. Um, and then just, and you know, like I said, the wiring was very simple. Hot wire from here all the way up to the switch. And then we, once we, one wire went, you know, there's two wires coming out of the switch. It's basically just open and closed, okay? So 12 volts in, and then the other wire coming out went to the headlight, and I put a double bullet connector on it. So one goes there, one comes back here to the tail light for the running light. So these, neither one of these items is super high current. So I put a 10 amp fuse here. Once I check the draw, actual draw on it, I may go to a smaller fuse. I just wanna have a little room for safety here. Um, that way, if we have a short or something, something happens, a wire gets a, an abrasion on it or a cut, we don't burn up the electrical system or cause a problem. So in the future, we may do convert this to supermoto and do street tires and actual turn signals and hook up the brake light instead of just a running light. And this is on low beam right now. Um, there was a high and a low beam and, um, I basically just connected that to the battery um, to, you know, to see which beam was which. And, you know, we may end up going through that. But, you know, in the comments, if you guys would like to see the whole breakdown, I mean, I just kind of trial and error figured out. I think the black wire, I'll have to look at it again. I've slept since then. But it seemed like it was a black, it was a black wire and two different colors of blue. So the black was ground and the two blues were high and low beam. And I don't remember which was which. You'll just have to test it. Um, not a big deal though. And like I said, if there's enough people in the comments that say, please take this apart and show us exactly what you did like step by step, then I'll do that. I'm happy to take it back apart. It takes 20 minutes. I'm just so far along and my son's ready to ride. So I'm trying to wrap it up so he'll go outside and play. <laughs> so, 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them in a timely manner. And like I said, I'm almost done. I'll do, I'll add some video at the end of this showing everything working. So thanks. All right, guys. So here's the final installment. Let me turn off down this television. All right. So here's the final installment. So wires from the tail light kind of tidied up. This is all under the seat anyway. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that this stays over here out of the way. So all this goes here. There's three bolts holding this tail light in. Link in the description. And so there you have it. I'm gonna turn on the headlight. Works great. And then here's the tail light. All switched. So, in case you're wondering, yes, I'm still working in the kitchen because it's like 100 degrees outside and I have no air in my garage. So, and the wife's out of town, so this is what guys do when their wife's out of town. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot. Uh, before I go, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And like I said, if I see enough comments on it, I will do a full breakdown. Thank you.